How to connect Instamojo to Shopify. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect Instamojo to Shopify. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to instamojo.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed to this page and from here, you will see the details about this platform. And if you don't know Instamojo, it is a platform that provides a range of services for businesses primarily focused on enabling online selling and payment collection, in which the platform offers a various features and tools to help businesses sell products and services online, and also to manage payments and build their brand presence. And some of the features that this platform offer is e-commerce capabilities, integrated payment modes, brand building tools, shipping and delivery services, and many more. And now that we know the background info of this platform, the next thing that we need to do is to sign up or register on this platform. And to do that, all you need to do is to click the sign up button on the top right corner, in which by clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to sign up, you have the two options, such as to sign up as a business or sign up as a consumer, in which by signing up as a consumer, from here, you're required to enter your payment ID. While by signing up for your business account, from here, all you need to do is to enter your email address and also generate your own password. Or alternatively, you can sign up using your Google or Facebook account. But in those options, I'm going to choose to sign up using my Google account. So kind of click on it. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And after that, from here, all you need to do is to enter your mobile number since they will send an OTP or code that you also need to enter for security purposes. And after that, you will now be able to have your own account in InstaMojo. And now, when you're done signing up in InstaMojo, the next thing that we need to do is to sign up or log in with our account in Shopify. So just go here on the next tab and enter Shopify.com on the search bar. In which from here, it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Shopify, it is a well-known e-commerce platform that allows businesses to create and manage online stores. And aside from that, Shopify is a widely used and popular platform for building and operating e-commerce websites, offering a range of tools and features to help businesses set up and sell products or services online. And some of the features that they offer, including e-commerce website creation, online store management, payment processing, shopping cart, customization, mobile friendly, app store, and many more. And now to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan. And by simply clicking the pricing option on the top panel, from here, you will see some of the plan that they offer, including basic, Shopify, and advanced plan. And below each plan, you will see the corresponding prices that you need to pay monthly and also the list of benefits, including on each plan. However, you could also start a free trial by clicking this button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is to click your answers by selecting the choices below. Or alternatively, you could proceed by skipping all of the questions. And as you can see, some of those questions including, what do you plan to sell first? And the choices below are products I buy or make myself, dropshipping products, print-on-demand products, digital products, and services. Or alternatively, you can skip this part and just proceed by clicking the next button. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to create a Shopify ID, you can choose to use your email, your Facebook, your Google account, or even your Apple ID. But in those options, I'm going to continue with my Google account. So kind of click on it. And after that, you will be redirected to Google and just select your account. And after selecting your account, you will be directed on this page in which it will show you that your account are now pending to be created. So all you need to do is to wait for it to load until you will be directed on this page. In which from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can navigate including the home, orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, discounts, and any other options on the website panel. 
Well, under the home page, it will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to set up your account or your online store, including to add your first product, add a custom domain, customize your online store, create a professional logo, and name your store. And now that we are done signing up in Shopify and creating an account in Instamojo, the next thing that we need to do to connect the Shopify to Instamojo is with the use of this platform called Zapier. So the next thing that you need to do is to search on the search bar the word Zapier and proceed by clicking the first link that come up. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, in which from here it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Zapier, it is an online automation tool that connects various web applications and services, allowing them to work together seamlessly, in which it enables users to automate repetitive tasks and workflows by creating zaps which are automated workflows that link two or more apps to trigger actions when specific conditions are met. And aside from that, Zapier platform is designed to simplify and streamline various aspects of business and personal productivity. And some of the features that this platform provide, including integration, zaps, automation, customization, multi-step zaps, app directory, scheduling, filters, notifications, and collaboration. And now, to use this platform to connect Instamojo to Shopify, the first thing that we need to do is to sign up in this platform. So kindly click the sign up button on the top right corner, in which you will be directed on this page. And from here, you can sign up using your Facebook, your Microsoft, your email address, and even your Google account. So I'm going to choose to continue using my Google account. And after that, you will be directed on this page. And which below here, all you need to do is to select your answer to their questions below. Then proceed by clicking the continue button. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which it will ask you, what apps do you use? So all you need to do is to go to the search bar and kindly type Shopify and Insta Mojo. And after that, you will be directed on this page, in which this is a dashboard of Zapier.com. And to start connecting the Shopify and Insta Mojo, kindly proceed by clicking Create Sub button in here. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to click this trigger, and from here, just select the Insta Mojo app. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to choose an event which will serve as a trigger to this Insta Mojo. So let's say I'm going to choose New Drop Off Payment. Then proceed by clicking the Continue button below. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to sign in your account in Instamojo by clicking this button. And after that, we can now go to the next step, which is this action, in which from here, just select the Shopify platform. And after that, just do the same process, which is to select an event under the Shopify. So let's say I'm going to select Update Customer, in which this will serve as a command if the Instamojo platform has been triggered. This is what the Shopify will do in terms of that occurrence. And now for the next step is to sign in your Shopify account by clicking the sign in button as well. And upon signing in to those both platform, you will now be integrating the Instamojo to Shopify. And the trigger to Instamojo is that if the payment in Instamojo has been dropped off, the Shopify will update the customer. So that is just how to connect Instamojo to Shopify. Thank you.